Assalamu alaikum YouTubers. Welcome back to SLK Tools. Here in this section, we'll be learning in detail the material estimations just for dooms. Remember, we'll do the calculation only for RCC dooms, right? Also, just remember there are many types of dooms. But here in this section, we'll be just learning the detail calculation only for spherical dooms. Remember, the spherical doom just may be a half sphere, right? If you cut the full sphere in two equal parts, the one part is known just by a half sphere. Just look at the picture, right? The picture clearly show the doom is just a half sphere, right? Look at this one. Of course, this is a half sphere, right? And remember, the doom may be just a segmental sphere. This is not a half sphere, look at the picture. This is just a, like a part of a sphere, right? To cut a little section or to cut a little segment of a sphere, right? And the calculation for a half sphere is quite simple and straightforward. And of course, for segmental sphere, this is just a little complicated and challenging, right? All right, uh, uh, let's do the material calculation for all these two dooms, right? But before starting the calculation, let me show you what's the volume and surface area of a sphere. Because these guys will help us, right? In material estimation. And remember, the sphere volume is just 4 by 3 times pi r cube. And this is for solid sphere. Remember, the doom is always a hollow sphere, right? Well, we can use another formula like this one. The, uh, the capital R just represent the external surface radius right in hollow section and the small radiuses represent uh, i mean the small r just represent the radius of interior surface right in a hollow section and what's the surface area of a sphere remember this is just four times a pi r square i think you are just confused right but don't be because i'm gonna do an example for better understanding right and let's do of course an example this is of course example one and we are asked to work out the cement sand crust stone and steel per given half spherical doom the concrete is one two four and the steel is of course one point five percent and only number four bar will be used we are also informed to calculate external surface paint which means we will paint the external surface of the doom so we need the area of painting, right? And the doom just look like in this position, right? And uh, remember the external surface uh, radius is just 7.5 and the thickness is 6 inches. To subtract the thickness from external radius, we can get the interior radius, which is 7, right? So the height or the rise of doom must be 7 feet. This is just a half spherical uh, doom, right? I think uh, this data is quite uh, enough to calculate these materials, cement, sand, crust, stone, and steel, right? So I'll come straight over here into solutions. And my approach is the doom volume. Remember, this is RCC doom, which means this is concrete. So the doom concrete must be 4 by 3 pi r cube negative r cube because this is just a hollow, right? A hollow doom. And this formula is, of course, just part of full sphere, right? What? We have, of course, a half spherical doom. So we must divide this formula by 2, right? To get the volume or the quantity of a half spherical doom. All things are given. So plug and check in, in this equation, we can get 4 pi times the greater r, which means the external surface radius is just 7.5. So 7.5 cube negative of the smaller r, which is the interior surface radius, 7 feet. So negative 7 cube divided by 3 to the 6. So if you use your calculator a little bit over here of your mind, you can get of course 165.195 CFD as the total RCC of this doom, right? And my next approach is just the steel. Remember, the steel is just 1.5%. And to remove the percent sign, of course, we divide the vector by 100, right? Or 100. Now, if we have steel 1.5 and 100, 
how much will be in one six five one one nine five so we'll just multiply this vector with this right we can get of course 2.478 cubic feet is steel the steel is in form of volume remember we need this guy in a form of 10 kg or another unit right like quantile etc so to convert this the uh, the steel which is in form of volume we'll just multiply this with unit weight of steel or with density this time i have 222.323 kg per cubic feet right this is the mild steel uh, unit weight so we can get of course 551 kg which is number 4 bar right i mean uh, we just need 551 kg number 4 bars now what will be our net rcc actually this is pcc now right we'll just detect the steel volume from doom concrete i mean we have of course 2.478 cubic feet is steel we'll just subtract the steel from the total rcc work right so 1651195 negative 2.478 cubic feet we can get of course 162.717 cubic feet as total rcc I, actually this is pcc right because we have already directed the steel and my next approach is to calculate the external surface paint remember just look at the example we are just informed to calculate external surface paint right We'll, we'll just paint this, this external surface, right? Just this, this, uh, the top surface. So how much area will be covered when we need to paint this surface? And after this, uh, I'll just calculate cement, sand, and crust stone, right? Uh, I'm doing this guy a little first to our hair. And remember, what was the surface area per spare? Of course, it was four times by r square, right? This is just the, the, the formula of our full sphere. We'll just divide this guy by 2 because our sphere is just half. Now it's quite simple because we have all data known, right? Which is 4 pi times the r is given, 7.5. So 7.5 square divided by 2, we can get of course the area of paint, which is 3 pi 3.43 SFT, right? This is an area, right? And now let's calculate cement, sand, and crust stone. Remember, for cement, sand, and crust stone, we have a nice video tutorial in the same playlist. Named as, actually, I don't remember now, but the name is, I think, how to calculate cement, sand, and crust stone and PCC work. I think this is the name of that lecture, right? Of course, you can search that and I recommend you to watch this lecture first because there is a lot of detail in that lecture. Over here, I'll go just a little quickly, right? So my total PCC work, of course, which is 124, is just 162.717 cubic feet. And my approach is just to determine cement, sand and crust stone. To calculate any of these three material, we have a nice formula. The material must be equal to ratio of material divided by sum of ratio times dry volume, right? What does this formula mean? If I need to calculate any material, say I just need to calculate cement, what's the ratio of material? Of course, look at the ratio, 1 to 4. 1 just represents the ratio of cement divided by sum of ratio. What's the sum of ratio? Just add all, all these three guys, right? The ratio is 1 to 4. Add all these three guys, we can get, of course, 7. So 1 divided by 7. And times the dry volume. What's the dry volume now? Just look at our hair. Dry volume is just the wet volume times 1.54. And the wet volume is given just our hair, which is 162.717 cubic feet, right? And what's 1.54? It is of course just 54 percent of volume right to convert the the wet volume into dry we multiply the wet volume with this vector right so just uh, the dry volume will be the wet volume which is given 162.717 times 1.54 which is equal to of course 
2.0.58 cubic feet. Just plug this guy over here in this equation. Of course, we can get the cement quantity 3.5.8 cubic feet. The cement is in form of volume, right? And of course, we need the cement to be in bags. To convert the cement into bags, of course, just divide the volume of cement by 1.25. Pipe. Because this is just the one cement bag volume, right? 1.25 cubic feet is one cement bag volume. We are here in Pakistan. If your country bag volume is just little different, no problem. Of course, you can use that vector over here. So we can get, of course, 28.64 bags. You can say 29 bags, right? And my next approach is just the cent. Just look at the ratio over here. The ratio is 1 to 4. The 2 just represent the cent which is of course 2 times of cement and of course I have the quantity of cement I'll just multiply the quantity of cement with 2 so I can get the cent quantity which is 71.6 cubic feet alright so the next uh, step is just to calculate the crust stone also known by course aggregate right just look at the ratio the pour just represent the ratio of crust stone which is of course 4 times of cement so I'll multiply the cement quantity with 4, right? I can get the crust stone quantity, which is 143.2 cubic feet. Here is our detailed result. The cement is just 29 bags. The sand is just 71.6 cubic feet. The crust stone is just 143.2 cubic feet. Of course, you can convert all these guys into secular, right? And the steel, which will be just a number 4 bar, is just 5.51 kg. And of course, the painting area is just 353.43 SFT. And this was our first example. And we have done it, right? This is the result. I just want to do another example, right? Example 2. Also, we are asked who are here to work out the cement sand, crust stone, and of course, the steel per given segmental doom. Remember, in the previous example, we had a doom, just a half spare, right? Where here, we have a segmental doom. This guy is just little challenging, right? And this may look like in this palm. The thickness is 6 inches, the height, which is 4.5 feet. And remember, this is just a segment. Uh, if, uh, we just draw a, a pull circle like in this palm, right? The radius of this pull circle will be just 10 feet. And the interior radius is just 9.5 feet. Because just subtract 6 inches from external radius, we can get, of course, radius 2. Also, uh, just uh, H1, which represents the external height, which is 5 feet, right? Just add 6 inches with 4.5 feet, we can get H1. I think this data is just enough to calculate material in this doom. So I'll come straight to our hand to solutions. In the solution again, if I need to calculate cement, sand, crust, stone and steel, I just need to calculate the doom volume first. And this is RCC doom. So the doom volume must be just uh, pi times h square divided by 3 times 3r negative h. This is just the segmental doom or a segmental cape volume, right? And the idea is just look at the, the, this picture, right? This green zone just represent the doom, right? The segmental doom. And uh, our, t our 10 radius just represent over here the best radius, right? Okay, this is the total. Uh, if you just assume the doom is a total spare, so this 10 feet just represent the radius of that doom, right? Or that spare. The formula will just give you answer of a solid doom, which is a segmental doom, right? But our doom is just hollow. Look at the thickness is given, right? And uh, two, uh, two types of height are also given. And of course, two types of radius are given, which means our doom is just a hollow, right? So what should I do now? I'll just subtract the interior doom from external doom and this will be really I think easy and straightforward per, uh, per external doom I have a formula this one I'll just put uh, h1 uh, r1 and h1 
right because uh, uh, all these uh, guys are uh, just related to the external surface right or the external doom now i'll just subtract the interior doom right so the formula is quite simple now because all things are given i'll just plug and chug in right just plug and chug in in the external we have pipe pit as uh, the external height and the r1 is just 10 pit h1 is of course pipe pit negative the formula just for uh, interior doom is just in this form over here h2 is just 4.5 R2 is just 9.5 and again H2 is just 4.5 if you do little mathematics with this guy of course you can get the doom concrete equals 145.56 CFT and this was really I think uh, quite easy right there is not, nothing complicated if you are facing any challenge you can of course ask me and comment or you can also call right now our approach is just the cement, sand and crust stone, of course the steel also. But I'll not calculate all these guys. Because uh, a few minutes ago, an example first, uh, I just did this guy a little bit, okay. Uh, just let me go back over here, just look at this guy. And the cement, sand, crust stone calculation is over here, right. And of course the steel, let me just go a little back over here, this one. The steel is 1.5%. And the same calculation uh, will be just done uh, in example two, right? Which is just look at over here, this one, this example. We have, of course, uh, the, uh, the quantity of this doom. Of course, I can calculate cement, sand, and crust stone with the same process that I have done example one. Uh, I think uh, uh, I'll not waste my time over here in this calculation because uh, if a thing is already done, so uh, it's not required to be done again, right? So it's enough. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. And what? Nothing, of course. Wassalam.